every once in a while, a product comes along that changes our perception of how we use technology and how natural technology can feel. And today, I'm extremely proud and happy to introduce you to the Nokia N9. With the N9, we wanted to design a better way to use a phone. And how do you do that? You start by observing people. You start by listening to people. You start by watching how technology fits into the landscape of people's lives. And then you innovate. And you have to innovate in the design of both the hardware and the software together so that you make one seamless, beautiful whole. And what we found was two basic things. One is that people want more screen on their phone. And secondly, they want to use their phones while fully mobile. And that means better one-handed use and glanceability in the user interface. So we set a goal of designing an all-screen phone that's incredibly easy to use. And that's what the N9 is. Take a look at the beautiful curved glass that flows seamlessly into the body. This is a clue to the N9 experience. And it all starts with one simple gesture, a swipe. Whenever you're in an application, be that calendar or maps or the browser, swiping from the edge of the screen takes you home. You can do this from any edge, from left, right, bottom, top. It's extremely intuitive. And the application just follows your finger and slides off the screen. The swipe is a big human fundamental gesture. It ex exists in every single country on the planet. Extremely easy to, uh, to learn and to do. With no need for a home key, this all screen phone obviously leaves more room for apps to shine. And it's incredibly use, easy to use with one hand because your thumb is right there where it needs to be. You don't need to reach. But that's not all. We looked at the most important things that people need to do with their phone, using apps, getting notifications and social network updates, as well as switching between the live activities that you're doing. And for each of these, we designed a recognizable home view. Here we are. We were in the clock app. We've swiped away. And we go to the first. The first is where you launch and organize your applications. It's familiar to everybody. You can move the icons if you'd like. You just tap, and the application glides in. The second gathers together in one place all of your notifications, like missed calls, text messages, as well as updates from social networks, all in one place. So it's the fast and easy way to stay up to date. And this view is based on the fastest growing user interface pattern on the internet of the last couple of years, which is the activity stream, which hundreds of millions of people are familiar with from social networks around the world. And the third is open applications. This is where all your applications are live. And the most recently used are always at the top. So it's incredibly easy to pick up where you left off. I think this is the best multitasking design on any phone. So just to uh, recap the three home views, applications, events or notifications and social network updates, and open applications. These all circle in carousel, so it's really easy to flick between them. And one thing we did is we wanted to design the user interface to be very fluid, to be really focused on the person and what you are doing. And so whenever you swipe away an application, you come back to the view of home from where you came. It's very important. It makes the experience extremely fluid. I'm especially proud of the craft we applied to the industrial design of the N9. Take a look at the front. It's a hard rectangle, beautiful color on the sides framing the display. And when you look at it from the front, it seems almost severe 
like a real hard rectangle. You, know, you expect the product to be like a box with hard edges, but nothing could be further from the truth. Look at the back. Beautifully natural, organic, an extruded shape with tapered ends. Looks very simple, an extremely complex shape to make. All of the curvature. The N9 is an example of extreme product making. So we literally take the display and the entire product and we assemble it into the body of the product. Almost like fitting a ship into a bottle. And we do this so that we can really make the product seamless. And you take the beautifully curved sculpted glass and it flows completely seamlessly into the product, right where the swipe gesture is. It's amazing. The deep, sort of deep uh, black display that's laminated means that when the display is black, it's completely black. And when the user interface comes alive, you feel it's just on the surface of the product. Let me talk a little bit about the body. The body is precision machined from a single piece of polycarbonate in inherent color. What inherent color means is that the polymer is colored throughout. And that means if it scratches, it's still the same beautiful magenta that you see here. The polycarbonate is also good for another reason. It gives us extremely good antenna performance. So unlike some competitor products, you don't need to hold it a special way to make reliable phone calls. This is very important. And for color. The N9 comes in three beautiful pure colors, black, cyan, and magenta. Let me talk a little bit about features. When we designed the N9, we knew that it would have to excel in those things that people have come to love about Nokia products. And let's start with the camera. The camera is proudly Carl Zeiss technology. Eight megapixel widescreen sensor with 16 by nine wide angle lens. We have an unusually large aperture, f2.2. And this means that you can take extremely good photos also in low lighting conditions. And the N9 captures high definition video in stereo. So this, the N9 is really about capturing more and a beautiful photo experience, stitched end to end. So you can immediately act on photos, share them easily. And then maps finding where you want to go. We've made particularly drive navigation easier than ever before. You have a dedicated uh, app icon. You just tap it, and you're ready to go. More country coverage, more uh, voice assist in, in native languages. And we just made getting from A to B easier and more direct. But let's go to the real thing. All right. You see this? First detail. What, one of the things that people do more every day than anything else is unlock their phone. And they look at their phone for the time. And so we have a low power mode that's beautiful with the clock and your notifications. It's extremely calm technology. You just double tap to wake up the device. And then you swipe like that. Let's go to the calendar. And again, you just swipe from either edge of the display to go home. It's that intuitive. Let's go to photographs. You see the photograph there. You can pinch and zoom. Move around, and if you want to swipe away. Notice that we're in the open applications view. 
And all the applications in the order that I've now opened them are there. So the most recently used is always at top left. It's extremely easy to pick up where you left off. A couple of other little application details that we're especially proud of. More people wake up to a Nokia phone than any other on the planet. So we want to keep improving that experience. This is how you can set your alarm. Little detail, people love it. Here's the browser, very easy. You see how responsive the screen is? Zoom, excellent. And let me now walk you through the screens that I showed you before. So this was the open applications view. Here are the apps. Here's events. Notifications, you can see at the top, there's three new messages, two missed calls, and then updates from my social networks. And finally, let's take a look at maps. You can see here as well, a beautiful 3D mapping experience with navigation, free on every NEN line. Now, I could go on and show you a lot of other details, like the, the great virtual keyboard for typing, including multi-language support, because a lot of our customers speak two languages, and switching between the languages needs to be easy. But I want to show you something else, because touch needs to extend beyond the screen. And the Nokia N9 packs the latest in NFC, near field communication technology, wireless touch technology. So we take touch beyond the screen. Let me go here. It's listening to music earlier. And here's what I do. You know how uh, challenging it is sometimes to pair Bluetooth headsets to phones and figuring out how to do that? Now, all you do is you touch. NFC, you see that? See the top of the screen? Connected, you play. And it works. What do you do? Touch here. And the NFC stops. And you can continue listening here. But it doesn't stop there. We're also announcing the Nokia Play 360 speakers. Beautiful surround play speakers. Again, with NFC technology. If you have one, it beautifully fills the room with sound. But get this, you put two together, and they form a stereo pair. You come home listening to music, you just touch the speaker, and the music continues in the speakers. This is what touch means outside the screen, and making something even easier to use with very human gestures. And finally, the Nokia N9 is a cute phone. In fact, our engineers chose to develop the most important applications for the N9, including Maps, directly on Qt, because they saw it as the easiest, most expressive, and fastest development framework that they had. There are over 100 million Qt-powered devices already in the market, and the N9 shows the way to the future. So there it is, the Nokia N9, a design for a better way to use a phone. I urge you to try it here in Singapore, and I trust that you'll see just how natural, how even supernatural it feels. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. We're going to be launching the N9 later this year. We'll have more specific details on the pricing and the launch regions and so forth closer to the launch time frame. This device